just where we're positioned, logistically where we're positioned, you know, we're very close to America, we're probably, you know, a great gateway to play cricket in America. Um, there's a good stadium in Fort Lauderdale, we've been and seen it, we're going to, uh, we're talking to them about it, and, uh, and if we don't open franchises there, then I think we can safely say we'll take one of these, these franchises that we've got now and we'll play matches there. Well, you know, if you ever need a coach for Fort Lauderdale, I'm available. You're in. <laughs> Thanks very much, David. Brilliant. That was uh, David Brooks, director of the CPL, talking to our very own Darren Goff. Lovely pl plug for yourself at the end, Goffy. It's the jackpot, isn't it? To end up just having a whole summer in, like, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> just Can doing, like, cricket camp. It's the dream ticket, mate. I, I mean, of course it is. I've been uh, chatting to a few of the guys out here, and uh, I'm, I'm going to try and interview uh, the owners of uh, one of the teams, Johnny, uh, after the show today. Yeah. Uh, the Jamaica Talawas. They're American. Right. And they've got basically loads of KFC restaurants and made millions and millions and millions out of it all across uh, the west coast of America. Yeah. And, and they're, they're bought into it. And they say cricket in America is huge. But it just hasn't got that tournament. It hasn't got a, a, a tournament for get the people in. Because the Asian population over in America. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Toronto as well in Canada is huge. And the, the owners here, the, uh, sorry, of course. the, the organizers of this Caribbean Premier League are trying yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, they're two, trying to. Two franchises, one in America. And one in Canada, and they said that would be Canada. Would I'm not sure at Canada. Mind you, I guess they could play it indoors at the, like the Toronto Blue Jays Stadium. Yeah, because it, it, it's not it would. It, it's not the best weather up there for a long time of the year, uh, and the summers, you know, it's, it's, it's a short window there. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what the weather's uh, sorry, like. Sorry, sorry, Coffee. Did you just the weather in Toronto now would be warm, wouldn't it? It would be yes, but I just like the fact you just went hmm, on air. Well, the, <laughs> well, the tournament, the, the tournament <laughs> would be now. So as long as the weather's warm now, that's all that matters. Hmm. Okay. Well, listen, uh, Goffey, Thank you very much for that. We're going to go to Dave. He's a Villa fan. He's in Birmingham. I really hope you get that Fort Lord Lauderdale uh, uh, job, uh, Goffey. It sounds fantastic. Uh, <laughs> but Dave, a Villa fan in Birmingham, uh, he's obviously sad that Benteke might leave. Uh, Dave, uh, good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening, guys. You're all right. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're busting. How are you? I'm busting, as they say. Bloody busting. Okay, um, bloody busting. Yes, yeah. I'm your uh, guys. Oh, uh, both bloody guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm gutted to see that Ben Teke is going. He, he was showing great form underneath Sherwood. But for me, there's a bit of a love loss as well because his agent uh, has been caught out by a uh, prank call. And basically he's saying, doesn't matter what's happening, regardless of the takeover or not, Ben Teke is going. Which is a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of sweet, really. But listen, I'm no, 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 do you know something? It's, it's just agents. Another example of them just... They, they, they shouldn't be so foreground in football, agents. An well, agent, the, it should be about clubs and players, and an ag agent should always be in the background. But it's like the R Ryan Sterling thing. It just looks like he's running things, you know? Well, the, thing, the thing is, though, is that since Ben is coming to the club, Johnny, he, he just wanted, his agents just wanted him to leave. And yeah. that's the thing what's annoyed us the most, is that if he didn't have this agent going, oh, well, he's going to leave, and he's this and that and the other, you know, he, Ben Tucker would have probably been happy, but listen... He didn't show any loyalty to Genk. He's not shown any loyalty to us. Yeah. And I'll guarantee he's not going to show any loyalty to Liverpool if Real Madrid or Man City or anyone else turns up. But yeah. you know what? Is that what you're saying? Like you're saying he's one of those sort of troubled players like Tevez. Yeah. He's just always um, moving on. Just always, wherever he goes, it's just another problem. Well, Dick is and Ben's a prime example. Look what yeah. happened with Ben T. You know, he spent the <laughs> majority of his time getting Tony Daniels left, right and centre. But listen, the other thing is, guys, is that Liverpool fans don't want him, which is crazy because they're saying that Balotelli's better. Are they smoking something that we, we need to have a, a get on to? Because I can't see how <laughs> so Balotelli... No, no, Goffey, 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 when someone mentions marijuana, if you're in the Caribbean, you <laughs> don't then laugh. <laughs> for no apparent yeah, reason, man. all right, Goffey, you don't yeah, do man. that. Yeah, yeah man. Minna, you know minna, minna check for that, minna Johnny. check for that business. Yeah, Johnny. No, no, no. Let, let, let's be serious about this, Johnny. Coffee, go, go, coffee, what you got to say? With your Benteke, right, let's, let's be honest about it. If, you go, if you're somebody from another country and you come to the Premier League and you're not quite known with the big guns yet and you go to a Tottenham and you go to a... Are they nice them, Chris, Johnny? And you go to a Villa or a Stoke, you are looking to get promoted, almost, aren't you, to, to get the golden ticket and go to a Manchester City, an Arsenal, uh, Man United and Chelsea. Yes, there of is a... Of course you are. We're, we've gone from the days where every club had that start. Letizia has left the building. Yeah. 
that, that's not going to happen anymore. It's that's not, not going to happen. No. You always want to get into the Champions League. Yeah. And whoever's in the Champions League, and if you get to one of the big four in England, and then Real Madrid or Barcelona come in for you, I'm sorry, but you're going to leave and go, go to those. You're going to go to Real Madrid. And then when they finish with you, and then when they finish you, with you, you'll show no loyalty whatsoever to the club you last left in England, and you'll go somewhere else as well, like Fabregas. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Uh, do you know what I think we, we, we forget is they're just working for firms these days. And they just go with the best offer. They don't. That, that's all it is. And we wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't blame you if you got a bigger offer from another talk sporty, uh, a radio station that talks sport, and you, and, and you got a great offer and they said, do you want to come? And Goffey said goodbye, talk sport. We'd all say, yeah, Goffey, you go for the money, mate. I'm sure he would. Right, it's 5.31. Uh, you're listening to uh, Drive Time right here on Talk Sport. Um, Darren Goff is over in the Caribbean, evidently really enjoying himself and giggling at the word marijuana. Uh, Robin Schoenhoff, it isn't. She's right here. And she's about to give us some sports news. Robin. Thank you very much, Johnny. Good afternoon. The bodies of eight of Britons killed in last week's beach attack in Tunisia have been repatriated. The relatives of the victims were at RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire when the flight arrived. A final decision on where a new runway should be built in South East England will be made by the end of the year. The Hello there. Welcome to Drive on Talk Sport. I'm Johnny Vaughan in for Adrian Durham over the next couple of days. Uh, Darren Goff, he's out there doing it for you. Uh, Manchester City could be ready to pay 100 million euros for Paul Pogba. Can he prevent a repeat of scenes like this? There it is, the full-time whistle, and you can hear the boos of frustration from the Manchester City supporters. And after four games now, just two points in Group E, very, very unlikely that City will progress. So, is Pogba the man to lead Manchester City to Premier League and Champions League glory? This is Drive on TalkSport. Nice. Why do you come in with music that's like from a sort of gay club in the 80s? You know, and he says, turn around. Stand up like a man and look me in the eyes. It's like a divine record or something. <laughs> anyway, let's take it down. It's awful. That's the awful. You think you're a man, you are only a boy. You think you are a man, you are Adrian Durham's toy. You think you're a man, but... Okay. Okay. Take it off, it's just dreadful. It's dreadful. It's, it sort of reminds me of... Actually, actually, just fade it up a little bit. Just fade that music... Look, look, look. The new Lexus has a range of features. Air conditioning. Rear view camera. Hybrid technology. All right, take it off. Take it off. That's it rubbish. That's it rubbish. <laughs> it just is, though, isn't it? In fact, you can imagine that they, they put that for an advert for, like, conservatory blinds. <laughs> Stay hot or cold, no matter what the weather. In the winter. I'll tell you what. Yeah, sorry, take it off. I'm getting carried away. Go on. I'll tell you what, Johnny. After what? three days working with you, they'll be all sacked at TalkSport Towers. Oh, they? no, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a different. We'll that's, have a the, different that's the plan. Tech. That's the plan, Goffey. Yeah, got APs. <laughs> Everybody will be changed. <laughs> just go. Just go. No, you've got to do it this Johnny Vaughan way. <laughs> you've got to do it this way. Okay.